The first thing I would like to say is that the EAC-Journal meeting is the largest gathering of professionals involved in cardiac and thoracic surgery, and it offers a great opportunity to stay up to date with all the new developments. And this year, the annual meeting will be taken at the Austria Center in Vienna. Uh, this is a fantastic venue for such a meeting, and it's only seven minutes away from Vienna city center. This year, I'm, I'm particularly proud of our learning labs in, for multiple techniques, such as artifact repair, endoscopic mitral valve surgery, and, and coronary surgery. This gives the attendees the opportunity to have on hand, hands-on training with experts in, in the field. There are some things that we have changed this year, like the duration of, of our sessions. So we've shortened them to 60 minutes. One of the things which differentiates EAC annual meeting from other meetings is that the opportunity we give to for discussions. Like for instance, this year, the presentations will be seven minutes and then we will have eight minutes for discussions. This will give a great opportunity for interactivity and discussions with, with experts. So many developments this year in, in the program, as Rafa has, has just told you. Um, one element that's particularly interesting for me is the fact that we've kept the main hall, the Hall D, uh, the big room running throughout the, uh, the meeting. Um, that means that we've selected for each um, moment of the meeting what we think will be the most impactful session for that time period. Not to say that the other sessions in the parallel rooms are not as interesting. If you want to follow just a general cardiothoracic meeting, you can stay in the big room at the most impactful presentations. Of course, we'll have on Saturday morning some, uh, some high impact sessions, such as the trial update, uh, trial and evidence update session, uh, we'll, where we'll be reviewing uh, some of the latest data from the uh, uh, TAVI low risk trials. Uh, chronic coronary syndrome guidelines and, and other controversial topics. And we'll have uh, true experts from around the world participating in the presentations and the discussions. And also not to miss, we'll be having a closing ceremony this year where we'll have an invited guest speaker, Dex Hunter Torike, um, who's uh, an executive from, uh, from Silicon Valley, who's been uh, working with SpaceX, um, Meta, um, and is currently working uh, for DeepMind uh, as their communication director. Um, and so that's the um, the AI arm of Google. So we should be able to to have some pretty interesting insights from him on the future of cardiothoracic surgery and AI. Also, not to miss is we'll have an opening session, an opening plenary, uh, with our president selection of the four best abstracts um, that were uh, selected this year. I would also like to highlight our rapid fire sessions. This is uh, an abstract session in which the presenters have only two minutes to present, and then there is uh, six minutes for, for discussion in a very interactive environment. These sessions are becoming more and more popular. And I would also like to talk about the Techno College, which is already an icon in EAX. Uh, this year we'll be featuring uh, new developments, uh, which among others, I, can, I would like to highlight endoscopic sutureless artifact replacement, a TAVI explantation, a minimal invasive robotic coronary artery surgery with, surgery with a new robot uh, system, an endoscopic and minimal invasive access to the uh, RT, R, 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 arteriovesicular valves. In thoracic surgery, we also have a techno college. We will be talking about severe pulmonary emphysema. Also, for the first time, we'll have a robotic simulation curriculum and, uh, with a dry lab with a Da Vinci robotic system. The quality of research has been increasing exponentially every year. Um, the research that's submitted, we've had a record number of abstracts. It's been very tough uh, selecting the best of them. The, the most weighted for sessions are late-breaking clinical trials. Although a few years ago, we had just one session. Now we have so many outstanding submissions that we've had to increase that to uh, three late-breaking clinical trial sessions. So we look forward to these. And we're working with um, major journal editors to arrange for simultaneous publication for the most impactful research uh, at the same time as our meeting. Those are really hot topics in, in cardiovascular and cardiothoracic surgery. And so they, they will be covered during the meeting. Uh, we'll have experts, uh, surgeons and cardiologists from around the world um, involved in these sessions. Of most interest is on the, the Saturday morning, we'll have our um, trial and evidence update. We'll, we'll be going into details of, uh, of these issues and providing more time for discussion and presentation so that our, our panelists um, and audience members should be able to engage in, in this discussion. The other element is that we've uh, worked on many guidelines with uh, other associations over the uh, the past year 
And so we'll be presenting a very engaging um, guideline session on the Saturday morning where we'll present uh, the latest uh, aortic diseases guidelines, the endocarditis guidelines, which were just presented at the ESC meeting, and also the update to the left main chapter um, in collaboration with ESC. Residents and early career surgeons are central to EAX and they have played a very important role in this year's annual meeting. The residents committee have prepared a number of sessions, some of them with names such as uh, escape the coffin in 60 minutes or breaking the taboo, every surgeon has a graveyard. Uh, I'm sure that these rooms will be full because they're always uh, very interactive and, and attractive sessions. I would like to also mention another session. This is organized by the Global Thoracic uh, Surgery Residence Association, which bring, brings together trainees and early career surgeons from all over the world to discuss matters which are interesting to them. Over the past year, we've created a separate committee for allied health professionals to really integrate them into uh, E-Acts, uh, since they are such a central part of our daily activity in the operating room, uh, on, on the wards, in the intensive care unit. So we integrate them in a similar fashion in the annual meeting. They have their own track with several sessions of their own that they've developed uh, within the um, this committee. So really looking forward to um, this holistic approach and, uh, and whole team approach to the cardiothoracic patient. This year, we are trying to make the annual meeting more attractive by making it more interactive. And as I've said before, that's why we've given more time to discussions. Uh, that gives presenters and members and attendees the opportunity to go deeper into those parts that they are more interested in. And they have the chance of asking questions to experts in the field from all over the world. We also have for the first half of the first time uh, introduced e-posters. This is new to EX. Some of them will be moderated. So this will happen on the exhibition at uh, certain times during the day in which the, the authors will have the opportunity to discuss their findings with moderators. How have we proceeded differently in the planning? Uh, well, mainly focusing on the important message of the presentations. As I said, now the sessions, the focus sessions last only 60 minutes. So we will focus on the message. And as I said before, we'll give more time to discussion and interaction. Yes, quite a few changes. Um, let's say we'll continue the, the same recipes that were successful last year, which is to, to have a dedicated TV studio team uh, programming uh, that'll be running throughout the meeting um, to give you all the highlights of the day, uh, discussions on what has been presented, what has been discussed, have experts come together and, and have these expert discussions. A few of the sessions will be streamed live um, from, from the, uh, the session rooms, especially the most high impact ones. Uh, and mostly, the most important fact is that it will be completely open. It'll be streamed through our, our social media platforms, website, the app. So for those who can't be there uh, in person, well, they will be able to get some extracts um, from EXTV. So EX is a European association, but we have a global reach and we feel very fortunate to have members from all over the world, and in particular from uh, underserved countries. For me, it's always fantastic to see surgeons coming from all over the world to our annual meeting. We try to cater for them as much as we can. This year, uh, I would like to highlight a session devoted to healthcare in the Southern Hemisphere, which is being uh, moderated by Professor Janka from Berlin. We will be discussing about health problems from the mainly countries from the Southern Hemisphere. I also mentioned before the Global Thoracic uh, Surgery Residence Association, in which uh, they will discuss matters which affect uh, surgeons in training from all over the world. Last year, we had surgeons from over 60 countries visiting us. 
So we try to, to cater for, for, for all of them. What we've tried to do very differently from previous years is that our meeting previously was divided up into our four main domains, uh, adult cardiac, congenital, vascular, and thoracic. And essentially it was four different meetings that were happening at the same time. We've tried to bring them together, have everyday uh, major plenary sessions. And that, that will be noticed as an opening ceremony, a uh, presidential uh, session where the four best abstract, one each from, from each domain is presented. What's very interesting to note this year is that although the reviewers were entirely blinded to the authors, we have two women presenters and two men. And so we have equal representation and just goes to show the quality of the research that our women members are submitting to the meeting. And I think that that is really outstanding. Also to close off the meeting, we'll have a closing ceremony with Dex Hunter Torike, who will be um, um, giving us some insights into AI. We'll have our award ceremony and really trying to bring it close to the, the annual meeting over the whole team, uh, the whole heart team, the whole cardiothoracic team coming together in, in the meeting, uh, including our industry representatives um, and, and everybody from the exhibition. So hopefully we'll have a, a nice party to close off uh, the meeting uh, on Saturday at noon. So we really look forward to seeing you in Vienna. Um, it's going to be an outstanding meeting and we've been working hard to prepare uh, an outstanding program and look forward to seeing yeah. you in Vienna. Uh, so this is going to be one of the most exciting EX annual meetings we've had. Registrations numbers are highest than ever before. So I'm sure it will be a great meeting and I very much look forward to seeing you all there.